ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Awkward Question Time. Please welcome your host, Alex Leem. Hello and welcome to Awkward Question Time with me, Alex Leem, the show where we take a panel of comedians and subject them to an hour's worth of awkward and stupid questions. And you'll be seeing a lot of comedians tonight uh, because we are not live. That's not live. I've done this for three years. I should know which way is which by now. It's it's rich. No, I'm just thick. Right. Yeah, we're not live tonight because uh, uh, tonight, as this is going out on the 16th of July, is actually my birthday. So by this point, I'll hopefully be vertical or horizontal. The effects of the alcohol is taking hold already. I've forgotten which way is which. You, you get what you get what I mean. Uh, but tonight we've got something a bit special. We're going to play out in full all of the bonus questions uh, that we recorded after we went off air. Uh, so from week two, I had the bright idea of recording a bonus question just for the podcast. Did that for about five weeks. Then I realized no buggers watching the podcast, listening to the podcast. Probably because I keep, yeah, I keep messing up uh, like that. So this is probably a good time to play in this jingle. I can't. Words. Good. Mm. Uh, nobody was listening to the podcast. I'm nothing if not honest. Uh, but the questions were great. So this is the first time they're being played out visually. Yeah. So don't forget, no comments. We're not live tonight. To prove that we're not live, I'm going to beep out every time I say the word It's not a word I use often. I don't like that word. So every time I say the word I'm going to beep it. In any context, on Sunday nights, I watch tree file. I'm just a tree boy. Anyway. Here are the bonus questions. Enjoy. Uh, so, <laughs> bonus question, which is just for you guys. Just for you guys. Bonus question just for the podcast. What annoys you the most about comedy podcasts? Now, uh, if uh, I don't know if anybody uh, listens to any other comedy podcasts, uh, mm. definitely not this one because I've neglected it massively over the, the three years I've been doing this show. Uh, to me, it's if you just see... Two or three blokes who know each other and they've got a lot of alcohol on the go. That's what kind of puts me off with a lot of, of comedy podcasts. Because it's like you're going to be listening. It's the equivalent of listening to three drunk men at a neighbouring table being a bit too loud. That's just annoying. Sounds like you have some beef. <laughs> I, I do. I do have. I do have beef, particularly when there's some of these podcasts that are like that that are earning millions. Yeah, uh, so. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know the kind of ones which you're thinking of. Uh, mm. I call it wittering, where they just witter on, that's, and that's, that's a... yeah. And I, I need to fill it out. I'm just going to witter on. I'm just going to talk absolutely nothing for such a long time. Or is that sounds like what I do all the time. <laughs> we know. I do. I do that all the yeah. time. I have to really yeah. hold myself back from speaking all of my inner monologue. Totally agree with you. So, th so to tonight say, we've I'm, experienced I'm... restrained ends. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I tonight you I've been restrained. relatively restrained. Relatively, yeah. Okay. I've got, I've been, you know, the theory of relativity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is relative to me is not relative to other people. Or relevant? <laughs> oh. oh, I don't know. Hey, Mark, uh, what, what were you going to say? So I was going to say, like, yeah, the sort, you know, uh, comics who go on about, you can't say anything these days while millions of people are listening to you. So it's like, well, you mm. clearly can. You have a platform. You have sponsors. Well done, you. Um, there was that. And also just needlessly name dropping every second to go, I know this person, I know... That part. And actually, most of the time, your audience is listening will be like, who? Or like, okay, fine, just get on with your point. But yeah, so there's just a couple of those the, things. Yeah. The celebrities we name dropped tonight, yes. though, everyone has heard of. So that, oh, that, yeah, that no, is absolutely, the difference. 100%. Oh, no, and mine. Also, also, that structure <laughs> within the question of this podcast, but when they're mm. just wittering on about, oh, I know <clears> this person and I know that person, it's like, okay, and like, where's this? There was a point to it. So, yeah. 
I, I would say that I, I actually really like the awkwardness of the the kind of uh, podcast that you're describing. So um, there might be some there where, like, if you know a thing that's happened that they're talking about, and you think, "Ooh, you're twisting it for so that it sounds uh, like yeah. you're." You're yeah. you're uh, blameless in the situation <laughs> when it's like I don't know exactly what you did, people, <laughs> and you're just telling a tale for your massive audience that might not be 100 percent true. So anyway, that's yeah. kind of like a little bit special for us because, like, well, we know what's going on there. <laughs> we we know why that person blocked you on Facebook. <laughs> It's because for, 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 a second, for a second there, I thought you were talking about this morning. Um, <laughs> right, what did you do this morning? It's, it, it's it could have been every morning for all we know, uh, but obviously yeah. not not before not after ten o'clock. Um, I don't know what time this morning starts. I, I haven't watched it since Richard and Judy. I know. I don't, know. I, I'm, I don't get up. It was after Supermarket Sweep. That's all I remember. Oh, Dale Winton. I'm yeah, so Ryland, so Ryland can't so hold the candle. <laughs> no. No. Supermarket Sweep no. was brilliant. He just, oh, Dale Winton. I had a, I had a thing where I, I wrote a radio play. Well, not radio play. I wrote a short film. Yeah, that was basically. I have I have earphones on. I've always got uh, Pick of the Pops with Dale Winton in my in my headphones, and then you find out that I actually keep him in my basement in a, a glass room, yeah, and he's there all the time pumping out Pick of the Pops to me, different years and stuff, but only to me. And I've got him down there and I feed him like fat food that will go into the door or something. Yeah. You've got M him pumping yeah. out. <laughs> but, um, M, M, so has anyone ever taken out a restraining order against you? <laughs> she hasn't Are said you no. the reason why no, Bill Wynn no. died? No, but I would have loved to have been. I would love to have been <laughs> how Dale Wyndham would have died, yeah? But I wasn't. But I wasn't. So no one. No, I'm not talking about assisted anything. death or euthanasia. I'm talking about murder uh, and and capture. I yeah, but I won't murder him though. You could have given him pneumonia. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even get to. I didn't even get to tell him about it because I know he would have done it because he would have really liked him and it might have cheered him up and he might not have died. <laughs> I, I love the fact that the question is what annoys you most about the comedy podcast, and we're just talking about the death of Dale Winton. I love how it's transcended. It's, it's, I yeah. love it. No, genuinely, I do. I've, I've, I've missed this show, Mark. I've, 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 I've really yeah. missed this show. It's, it's. I, I never know which which route is going to go down. Ems, I should Brilliant. have you on this more often because uh, you you you're delightfully twisted. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to take that, Alex. No, I don't know how to take that. I'll tell you how a quote for your poster. That's how you should take that. <laughs> Delightfully twisted. Five stars. Is that oh, sexual suspicion? I'm totally going to use that. I'm totally going to use that. I'm going to put that on my thing. Also add in brackets. She has totally twisted five stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In brackets, I can't believe the blue bad bunch turned her down. I was just... <laughs> oh, no, don't say that because you know that if I don't, right? If you say that, yeah, that means that I won't be able to come and do it live with you. Yeah, no, I, that I, means I... I won't be able to play with you guys. That means I won't be able to see Nick. I won't be able to see Nick come. We won't, we won't be lovers. You've woken we won't Raymond be up. That's that's me told. That's yeah. me told. All my hopes and dreams will be died. Will have died. Yeah, and that'll be your fault, Alex Dream. <laughs> the stakes are high, is what we're saying. They are, yeah. they are can, very high. They are can very you two please do a most battle? I want to see a most battle between <laughs> Alex Dream and Em's Coombs. It would just be glorious. 
What, I, like I, I, one, one's doing a chicken roast and one's doing a pork roast. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, do you do you know what I thought you said then? Not rose battle. I said, can you please do a rose petal? I thought you were trying to get Alex to sort of like appease Ems <laughs> by just scattering roses on her. I think we've now. Oh, we've... Alex, that's a really good idea. <laughs> I've just got a flash in my head of American Beauty. Does that make me Kevin Spacey? <laughs> yeah. Cancel you now. I, I know a song about him. We we all uh, <laughs> thanks thanks Billy and Johnny. All right, uh, there, there's an obs- yeah. End end the question on a hail and pace reference that nobody gets. That's a great way to this. <laughs> um, um, I used to, I used to stalk hail and pace. Um, one of them, the bigger the bigger one was that Norman. The Norman one with Her- the moustache. Norman Pace. Get yeah, the one with the pads. The, Gareth- the, Gareth- the other one, the other one looked a bit rapey. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad this hasn't gone out on the live stream now, uh, and his and his podcast. It might not even make the podcast now that you just said one of Halen Pays looked a bit rapey, um, which is actually. I one don't of the think it was. Well, you story. can't. You can't say that it was though. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> you just say you can just say that he looked a bit rapey, but uh, but you can't say that he was <laughs> rapey because you haven't got any proof of it. Anyone else glad we're not live? Okay, so welcome to the bonus question. Uh, so we've just finished uh, the regular uh, show. Uh, so now we're all here uh, to wait uh, on for just one little extra bit. Now, nobody can see us because this is just going to be on the podcast. We can do what the hell we like now visually. Um, <laughs> oh, that's that's great. Great. And mess <laughs> looks absolutely mortified. Uh, although Dame is unzipped his jacket now. Well, I, I mean, mean it's, um, it's intensely I mean, I hot. <laughs> it is. It is. I, well, hello. Have you just removed your weave there? there? I have. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's off. Oh wow! Wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, I feel the need to put a wig on. <laughs> I have. I have got a few. I've got. Uh, two, <laughs> No, no, I'm not going to go and get the blonde wig that I've got because that would just be ridiculous because <laughs> no, nobody's going to see this. Uh, so, yeah. So no, no, no it's re- it's, it's, it is really funny because um, if I ever like go to bed with anyone, they wake up with a complete different person. Like what? my hair's on the side, my eyelashes come off, the nails come off. And the tooth. Um, <laughs> yeah, the tooth, comes, the tooth comes out and they don't know who, they, they wake up really confused. So... <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant! It's, oh, wow. <laughs> whilst we, whilst we um, uh, uh, absorb that lovely mental image uh, on, a, on, a, on a visual only medium, uh, we'll come to the bonus question. Uh, so this week, uh, I saw this tweet saying that there's two types of people in this world: those who know who this person is, and those who don't. So the bonus question is: Do you know? Who Sticky Vicky is? Sticky Vicky, it does sound familiar. I mean, I've <laughs> I've heard the myth. I have. What's not What's seen... the myth? What's the myth, Damien? What What What's the, the myth rumors? Is that you go to uh, Magaluf or some similar god awful uh, holiday destination, <laughs> and um, you you uh, uh, happen to um, find yourself in the company of Sticky Vicky and the best way to describe it is you probably should take a table tennis bat with you because okay. she will fire ping pong balls out of oh. her vagina. Um, I, and I, I suspect they tried to recruit her for Britain's Got Talent many times because they, <laughs> they, they do steal their, not steal, that's not fair, but they do um, comb YouTube looking for, looking for acts. Um, yeah, and you, you basically have a lot. And if you're a, if you're a stag do, they'll go oi oi savaloi. They'll strap you to a chair, and she'll try to fire these ping pong balls into your mouth. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's the weird thing because I'd sort of heard who Sticky Vicky is, even though I've never seen. Um, and she's eighty three. <laughs> yeah, that's, wow. that's the other mad thing. I sort of knew who she was, even though I've never. I, I, I went to apparently it's Benidorm. 
Right. Uh, so you're in the ballpark. Uh, apparently, she, she guest starred in an episode of Benidorm uh, because she's something of a legend uh, there. And she is, like I say, in, in her 80s. She's retired now, though. I had to look this up. I mean, briefly, you never truly leave the game, though, do you? No, the, it's, it's a bit post, like a mafia. The postman gets a shock a couple of times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's knocking at the door. <laughs> that on Britain's Got Talent, though, because isn't Britain's Got Talent to try and find somebody who's going to perform in front of the Royals? So you oh, just yeah. like yeah, ping you, bombs into, into the King's crowd. Are, <laughs> well, what you obviously didn't stumble across, Ishi, was the uh, hashtag uh, Prince of Pegging. Um, I, oh, yeah. So okay. you may find yourself. He, uh, the Prince of Wales' eyes might be more open than you think. I thought that was about William. Yes, that the was Prince about William, not the yeah, king. But he's he's the, new prince, he's the new Prince of Wales, right? So oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, sorry you, for you, being correct. Sorry for being correct. Do you think? <laughs> do you think that like the royals get worried about ordering sex toys like to the palace because? Like, you'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? No, 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 because There's every royal, every royal household has huge, huge anus. Number one, <laughs> <laughs> our moral is an address. Sure, surely you get one of your servants to order it on your behalf, and they they keep um they keep stum. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, okay, then. out of all the royals, who do you think would um need marital aids? Shall we say Prince and Prince Andrew probably. Andrew, well, I don't think he'll be <laughs> um, for, forever more. So he probably needs to invest in. He's probably got a flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. If anyone Although he's, that is, he's... look it up. <laughs> Although he's not sweating when he's using it, is he? No, no. Is there enough lumen in a flashlight to actually use it as a torch? So if you had a power cut, could you? feasibly get from your bedroom to the kitchen using I don't know but it's a bloody good question I, I mean I assume it's got lights otherwise that's false advertising I just so there's, can't no light, wait. there's no lights on them so I know I, that, I, I just can't I wait know for the conversation this. we're going to have around the table at Nando's because I'm getting a little <laughs> yeah yeah I I know this that they don't have lights because I ordered two because I wanted to make some um Flesh like uh, like pocket pussy nunchucks, um, <laughs> like I thought it would be. I was just trying to make weapons out of sex toys, uh, and so I I ordered two like flashlights, and I I put like a chain in the middle to make them into nunchucks, and there was no lights on them. Disappointing. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll kind of wait your just upcoming think how ninja film. Just think how different <laughs> the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles could have been. Yeah, if, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's where actually I got some of my ideas from for um, weapons. I was thinking about the, the Teenage N Mutant Ninja Turtles and what weapons they have. I, I, I'm just thinking this is more along the lines of Inspector Gadget. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, Gadget, flashlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We're all picturing this now, aren't we? You know, in our minds, we've, we've we've all kind of drifted and glazed over, like, mm, now what would that look like? Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking also, you know, the is it Donatello? And he has like the sword. That the, the it's like a yeah, fork, Le Leonardo, isn't it? Leonardo. Leonardo has the sword. Raphael no, it, has the um the prongs, the forks. Yeah, the thought. Yeah. So I was thinking about like making one of those, but out of vibrators. So like the big one in the middle and then two smaller ones on each end. And there's your nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I get it because you would have the two central bits and then maybe a third. Yeah, yeah. Right, and you could it. Yeah, please three people at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know three people. <laughs> <laughs> you do now, David. Well, I do. You do yes. now. You four. Uh, one of you is gonna have to hold the coats. <laughs> <laughs> That's normally me. So, um, although, sadly, you can't see this because this is just going to be out as audio only. Um, oh, good. I can but, take my clothes off then. Yeah. Uh, uh, two, two, two members of the panel um, have gotten changed. Uh, <laughs> the, the last. So, John, 
went to go and change his shirt to make it look like he was going out on a different <laughs> night. And Bex is now wearing a is that a, is that a bowler hat or a trilby? <coughs> yeah, a bowler hat. A bowler hat. I, it's, it's, I mean, I'm going to save all of the recordings, the videos of this. It may go out <laughs> as like a, a bonus episode in a few weeks. Uh, John is now regretting getting changed because I get the feeling he's now got like <laughs> 10 minutes of sweat in a new shirt that he didn't want to sweat into and didn't it's need fine. to. He's now, he's, he's now, <laughs> he's now, okay. <laughs> right, he's now taking his top off. Um, so that's, I, I was right, the white people are getting naked today. It's, yeah, yeah. It's bonus. The new TV series back. is the full Monty. <laughs> and, he's, and he's back. Is that a third shirt now, John? Well, that's the original, original shirt. The original. <laughs> okay. I'm from Glasgow. We can't afford three shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three shirts. <laughs> la -dee -da. Yeah. Two shirts so, and a court shirt, which also doubles as a funeral shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll duly noted. I'll, 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 I'll have that in mind uh, when I'm next north of the border. Um, so, uh, our bonus question, uh, which uh, is, I should have picked one actually out of all of these a bit before we started tonight. <laughs> I've, I've got a few that I'm looking at now, just thinking, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, oh, actually, now this is perfect. This is one that's been lingering around for a couple of weeks, but now that we've we've seen two shirts in two minutes. What's the etiquette for men leaving the top buttons of a shirt undone? Now, as, as I don't know if there is an etiquette with regards uh, how, how women dress with shirts, because there's more of a cleavage reveal. That's a whole different thorny issue. Um, but, you know, what's, what's, what's the right amount of buttons undone from the top for a man for the occasion? What are you saying if you're just like one undone or two i think yes. any more than two and it's like a courting type thing <laughs> you know you're just kind of you know you're wanting to show off what you got it's it, i suppose it's equivalent to the kind of cleavage question you've got to kind of if i want to do another couple of buttons and i'm just oh, showing, He's look at that. that's beautiful <laughs> that's beautiful they won't be so, able to yeah. they won't be able to see that maybe you need to describe that but that that was instantly sexier when you when you got took the second one down it was, it, do you know what? I was looking, I had to put it back up because I was looking at myself and getting around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I mean, it, it must be difficult. to get distracted and we're not going to get to the bottom of this particular conundrum. <laughs> it must be difficult being that sexy. It's really hard. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all looking at you too. Yeah. Okay, I so think, yeah. I think with buttons, uh, the more you undo, the more of a prick you become. Because yeah. eventually you just take the whole shirt off. And then you're mm. one of those guys walking down the street with their top off. So yeah. fewer is better, I would say. I, I, I'll say that I actually have more respect for people that will take the full shirt off than people <laughs> that may as well have. You know, if you've still got... And you're wearing it like a kind of 1980s body warmer, almost. I'm just thinking... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> But, like, but like, then, of course, on the flip side, if you're maybe wearing a T-shirt under it, that's fine. Some people, as as, as Alex is is sporting yeah. now, is he's, he's fully unbuttoned but with a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, that a T-shirt? I just thought you're really white. I am really <laughs> white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it's like for me. I never see the sun. The so stay away from you're, you're, me. You're talking to a man from Glasgow when you say that. That's I know, I know. That's, I know. I'm just. <laughs> I wanted. To, I wanted him to feel at home. It's beautiful. Thank you. I have felt at home from start to end of this. It's been good. I feel embraced. Good. Good. We're talking about arousal and embracing now. Uh, so the yeah, so the so shirt fully unbuttoned, unless you've got the torso of a like Chippendale's 90s calendar, it's best to be avoided. Unless you're wearing a t-shirt. If you're wearing a t-shirt, then that shows that you're kind of um, casual but intelligent. This sounds oh. like a really serious question. A, a, it's it's gone. Considering Listen. that this question was whimsical and we've gotten serious, but during the rest of the show, we had serious questions that went into Angela Lansbury pegging and dogging. Mm. It's a weird dichotomy that we found ourselves in. Which you would have wanted. <laughs> Is she the dead? There's a fairly dead. simple countdown, isn't there, for men's buttons? You've, all the buttons done up. I am at a funeral or my own wedding. 
one button undone for everyday wear, two buttons undone. I am getting very, very drunk tonight and I don't care who I hit. And any more than two buttons undone, I have started with dementia. Where is the bus stop? <laughs> 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 okay, another indication then is, are you wearing your tie around your head? <laughs> like like Rambo, because that's the point of no return at a wedding, when yeah. the, the, the DJ, which used to be me, would then stick on Mr. Brightside, and then all the blokes would then heterosexually embrace each other. Oh. Tops off. Yeah. I think the answer is one button, if it helps, but I mean... I think I think no more than one button. No more. Than, I think one button is the answer. I'm one button guy. One button. I'm a one button guy. guy. One button. Not right now, obviously, but you know what I mean. Like, is is there a male equivalent with clothing, which just screams, "What a slut"? I mean, I think hot pants pretty universal. Hot pants. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, are hot pants comical for a for a bloke or or? Um, I don't know. I'd say. In terms of that second part of your question, Alex, I'd say um, quite often I think it's like a half tank top on a man. That is a quite slut-based item. Oh, for a man. yeah. The half okay, tank top. Right answer. Like the one that they made Mark Owen wear in the video for Relight Your Fire Fire. Don't <laughs> ask how I know that. So specific. <laughs> yes, that. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. was wearing a top exactly as, as Bax was describing, and I remember it vividly because it said Johnson's Babe powder on it. So, like the the Johnson's nice. logo. Oh. Um, so and he also take... sings Babe. So <laughs> he, does, <laughs> he does. He does. He sings Babe. Yeah. The, the, the Alex is on song. the panel. Know a lot about. Take that in the night. Oh, listen. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Hmm. Um, uh, going back to the have a song bit. based on Dick King Smith's The Sheep Pig. What are you all about? <laughs> That's what he said. About uh, have Rebecca. you seen the video? He wanders around. Sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> <Carry on. laughs> we'll, we'll circle back to take that. We'll circle back to take that. Um, I was going back to like the first part of that question about etiquette for the top buttons. I'd say it's, it should be definitely uh, have one button undone, but I'd say just be really, really careful about how um about how the top button is perceived because from my eyes a top button undone comes across a little a uh, little bit a uh, little bit Hugh Grant um for, so slightly posh boy level that's the look I'm trying to go for yeah. oh that's well, it please excuse me then <laughs> I, think, uh, I think thank you I think more than what one button is starting to get in a bit more um Regency Colin Thaff um in a in a pond level so i think yeah. a very fine balance a fine niche to balance on colin firth in a pond does sound like another jim will paint it suggestion no colin firth be... would never have yeah, more he... than one button undone he, he, he does would. it in all forms pride and prejudice yeah. love actually he's always in a pond that colin firth he's probably in this <laughs> pond right? he? you know um, yeah uh, is that like I a, even is that a bit of a is, is this yeah. a meme that I don't know about? Like how in every film that Sean Bean in, he says "busted." <laughs> kind of. It's part meme, and I think it's part meme, part female gaze that only females mm. understand. It's a certain thing that is like mm. Colin Firth in a pond. I'm gonna have to look. Yeah, at in, it a, in a region, a female gaze. Prejudice. Female gaze. Lesbian. Yes. As, no, as, lesbian. Gazing, as in gazing, not not. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought you yeah. just didn't understand that we had a. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, go, go back to your question about uh, the male equivalent of wearing something that might come off as kind of slutty. I'd say top button undone, but on your trousers. Uh, <laughs> now, now I've got to say because I, I, <laughs> I, I, I hate button up sort of buttons on on jeans. I always try to go for zip, but for some mm. unknown reason, uh, my uh, my tailors, also known as Primark, they only seem to mm. sell jeans with buttons at the moment, and that top one always comes undone of its own accord. This sounds like this sounds like the <laughs> statement that I'm giving for being arrested for <laughs> <Lord's disposal, laughs> it. Yeah, it does. Your yeah, honor. Honor. Yeah, it Mad does. Jeans but Mav jeans have got a button and a zip. What sorcery is this? Oh, and you said you've and and bought two shirts. <laughs> <laughs> of course jeans have got a button and a zip. No, he means no well yeah I suppose but, but button only. <laughs> fly button. He's talking about fly buttons. 
You have but right, okay, you've got button only, but you don't have zip only. No. No, you don't it's even no. the zip would have one button at the top. Yeah. yeah. Would you like me to demonstrate? Yeah, no, I'm you I'm, can I'm, do it. This is just gonna be audio only, so no no one's gonna see I feel, um, like, I, I feel even so I've gone too far. <laughs> but with, you, with the well, light still on, yeah. Even if you had zip jeans, you still have that top button problem. Final button. Because traditionally yeah. that's where they put it. You don't get you don't get the other kind of ensemble where you zip down and there's a but there's always a top button, even if you've got non button jeans. But like five buttons on a fly is just I remember I've had jeans where it's all buttons and it's just a pain in the ass. It's it just a pain a waste in the ass. Of time. you were wearing them back to front. Thank you. Thank you for just <laughs> yes, I had that was my problem. Yeah. Well, that's the thing as well. When I was young, when I was young, it used to happen constantly that you would somehow get your testicles caught in a zip, and that hasn't happened to me for decades now. I think, I think there's something about Mary raised awareness. Yeah, oh, that's I believe it. Yeah, I think so you only do it once as a man. I think you only do it once because the time you did, the time I did it, and I remember where I was. Um, <laughs> but like the time you do it, you just think, well, that's never happened again. I'm never ever going to let that happen to me again. So I did it twice just to make sure. <laughs> that it wasn't something that I didn't secretly enjoy. <laughs> you really are. Absolutely. I know it's a nightmare. Maybe the EU brought in new regulations about how flies had to be made to stop people doing it. So there are too many that, people. Before that, all the flies just had British kite marks, as in the expression, let's go fly a kite. <laughs> <laughs> It could be that we we may in the next few years. That's the true co cost of Brexit. We may in a few years' time see uh, a resurgence in fly related A and E business. <laughs> but yeah, scrotal uh, injuries up eighty percent. Yeah, under she scrot. Way nice. <laughs> but imagine the 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 category that that would uh, create uh, for the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> And on that bombshell, I think it's time to end. Uh, so, so thank you everybody for sticking about uh, yeah. for the bonus question. Uh, shall we? Uh, shall we do the harp again, or should we just get somebody with the loudest voice to shout Angela Lansbury as as loud as they can? <laughs> I'll nominate John. John, we'll we'll end this just by you shouting Angela Lansbury. Okay. Angela Lansbury. He held. That was terrifying. <laughs> Going good. So, welcome to the bonus question, just for the podcast listeners. Uh, so, it's just going to be audio only, so you can actually see us right now. I may put out all this uh, as like a, a all the um, bonus questions stitched together in a few weeks, but we can just do whatever we like now visually, and nobody, <laughs> <laughs> nobody has just, got a clue. You mean yeah, I just lit up a cigarette for nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> light two. <laughs> no one can oh, see our bad you. habits now. We can, we can, we can let out our waistbands. I may have been a Fa monkey phone box full of smoke, but it looks cool. That's what's important. Finally, I can look back at the marks of paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, let's 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 not go there because that derailed the UK pun off. Um, <laughs> It was, it, it, it was touch and go for Love Dev for a while there, but um, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, bless, bless Love Dev. Bless him. Uh, if, oh, uh, he, he won't be listening to this. He's a radio no. professional. He won't, uh, he won't give a monkey's toss what we're saying now. Uh, we, we, we love you, Love Dev. There's, there's a new thing going on. Um, if, I don't know if you know of Love Dev Barbagari. He's a very good one-liner comedian. He's, he's very, very funny. Uh, but he mentioned this week that it was weird seeing his face pop up as a notification on somebody's Apple Watch. Uh, so then that's now started a trend of people using uh, Love Dev as their watch screen. Uh, <laughs> so you can see that. I've got that now. I've got, I've got one of his, um, uh, pro, his, his uh, publicity photos as, as a watch screen now. So that's, that's now catching on. So if you've got a, if you know Love Dev and you've, and you've got an Apple Watch yeah, or a smart watch. He literally uh, lives about 10, 15 minutes away from me, so. Oh, well. uh, if you've got a watch, then uh, sort that out and, and nip round and show him. Say, say yeah, yeah, I will do. I'll purr, I'll purr to go round and so just say, look what I've done about you. <laughs> ah, beautiful. That'd be as, as creepy as the messages we got from Ashley Partridge at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, uh, I don't know if that's going to be a, a, some sort of a timey-wimey thing because I haven't actually spoken about them yet, if I've edited this in earlier on in the episode. But stick around, Ashley 
is fucking weird. Right. <laughs> Bonus question. That's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this came in by uh, text message uh, during the show, but we didn't have time to read it out. Uh, so the question is, I don't know why I'm holding it up because it's audio only. Uh, <laughs> is there any time you pretended you weren't in when a family member was at your door? <laughs> <laughs> We can extend this uh, to, to, to friends as well. Doesn't count if it's bailiffs uh, or somebody you owe money to. But have you, have you deliberately avoided a friend or family member? Yes. Uh, Kirsty's nodding. Do tell, Kirsty. <laughs> yes. So my mum and dad, my mum and stepdad were on holiday and my now husband and I were staying at my mum's house Um and we were having a lovely afternoon on her sheepskin rug in the living room. Um, and my gran came to the door and we were rather busy on my mum's rug. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my gran was peering through the letterbox shouting, I know you're in, I can hear you. And... Uh, <laughs> and I think Stephen disappeared inside himself at that point. Um, that, that's but, a talent. But, but yeah, we didn't answer the door. Um, and years later, we decided to tell my mum that, and she went, my fucking rug. Um, and, <laughs> and I went, no, but we're fucking on your rug. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, needless to say, she got a new rug. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, that, was, I have done that once. Uh-huh. Was it like a was it like a sheepskin rug? Because otherwise, you might get carpet burns. I was going to say, was... Like, how, how painful was it? Like, just... no, it was very soft. No, very I was talking about the actual sex. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 uh, just, when you said that, just one point, you said that your grammy was shouting through the letterbox. I thought, yeah. what encouragement? No. <laughs> I Go on, son! No. No, that takes me back. Go on, son. <laughs> that's, that's the same granny that told me that it was the last thing on my grandpa to die, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and my oh, grandpa sh- my grandpa gave her a Viagra at Christmas dinner once. He opened a jewellery box and knelt down in one knee and gave her a Viagra. So. I, I was about to say, that's one hell of a Christmas cracker. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> that, that story has made uh, Maeve leave the room uh, as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> can, can I go next? Don't encourage us to others, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. Mine's actually very similar to Kirsty's. I was having sex with my girlfriend and my friend came to the door and we, I pretty much knew who it was him. So we didn't answer the door and he went and looked through my bedroom window, saw us <laughs> and then went to my other friends and told everybody like what he'd just seen pretty much justifying the decision not to let him in my fucking house in the first place. Um, <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah, it was weird. I was only 17, and in fairness, so was he. But it was fucking... I, there's, sometimes there's a good reason not to let somebody in the house. Sometimes there's two good reasons not to let somebody in the house. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's that's my story. <laughs> that's that's we. Uh, that's, yeah, there's there's a lot of times when we pause tonight to picture what has just been said, um, and that was one of them. <laughs> uh, just the look. So, it, it, yeah, yeah. I I mean I I've never been I've never been caught in the act. I did I did go through a a sex outdoors phase with with my first serious girlfriend, um, in, including. Uh, and possibly the, the, the proudest, um, <laughs> my, my my proudest top two was the car park of Ram FM and Derby Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes me smile every time I walk past Derby Cathedral because there is a small um, a small road next to it called Amen Alley. <laughs> <laughs> I give myself a knowing look, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, man. Can, we, can I catch the podcast and see everybody else's story? But I'm going to have to go now. X. Okay. Are, are you being Just moved on? Much. No, I, just, I, I want to get, catch the gig before Paul is still. All right, fair, fair enough. Remember. Okay. All right, man. Wheels. Thanks very much, man. Thanks very much. Oh, bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. He's going. Bye. He's leaving the phone box. He's gone. 
just thinking about it, we've really murked his 5G tonight, haven't we? That's because yeah, yeah. that's about an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, uh, his choice, though. Yeah. His, it, yeah, it, it, that's commitment. That's commitment. That's so, the, the level of commitment I, I like for my flyers. So, like we're trying uh, to clarify, like sexual assault there or something. It was his choice. You know. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, so we, we, we've gone from uh, an innocent thing about avoiding neighbours to sexy talk, uh, which is which is no bad thing. Um, I've got a similar story as well, pretty much to Kirsty and Jimmy's. Yeah, basically, um, I was a uni student. It was in my second year, and uh, we had a we had a house, and the, there was a girl from my college who. I absolutely fancied the pants off. I thought she was just absolutely gorgeous and all that, you know, into music. I thought she was a bit cool. Then she told me that she fancied me. I was like, fuck off. So I, went, I just literally went to her, like, you can just come around mine if you want. Um, I, I went through a phase of, like, playing music quite loudly when having sex as well. Like, um, generally the choice I had was, like, Jimi Hendrix or Along the Watchtower because of the, of the open lyrics. There must be some kind of way out of here. So hopefully they get an idea that it's okay to, to stop that if I want to. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> but uh, then my mate, who I'm still friends with now, like kept knocking on the door, and I was the only person in. I thought I was anyway, and I was literally about to climax. Disgusting image. I do apologise. But then she banged on the door so hard, I went fuck sake, and then she went got down to the door, and then um, and I found out there's actually people in their rooms, like who could open a door for them. I basically said to the one one guy quite angrily, I went, "Why the fuck didn't you open the fucking door for me?" As loud as I possibly could, and like it was, and everyone was obvious because, like, I was in a bathroom, it was obvious that they knew what I was talking about, if you get what I mean, because of something that was showing. <laughs> wow, that's... and so, um, and then my mate was like, you okay, yeah, fucking never been better, and went back and trying to do my best. <laughs> well, that would ruin the mood a tad, wouldn't it? It's, oh, yeah, um... yeah, it would, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I've done it talking about uh, sort of like uni sexy time. I don't know if you've heard that there must have been variations of this game that happened, but there was there was one uh, when, I, when I was at uh, Derby. Um, a few mates of mine that were in halls played a game called Blitzkrieg, which is if they'd taken somebody back to their place and they were having sex with them, at the point of ejaculation, they then had to shout as loud as they could, Blitzkrieg! <laughs> then anyone within hearing distance of this then had to return it by going, Blitzkrieg! So there was this chorus of them Blitzkrieg happening uh, around the place. Apparently, uh, this ended one night uh, with a girl half dressed leaving the room, storming out, going, "You're all fucking idiots!" And then just left. <laughs> so, oh, that's, that's fantastic! I've, ne I've never heard of that. No, no uh, it's no. I. I've just that's why I really regretted not moving into halls in the first year. Because, <laughs> fucking uh, Blitzkrieg! All <laughs> the fun I've missed out on. So, mate, no pressure for your story. Um, it, it, well, it's, it, we'll I, take, I, take it back to the original. Yeah, go on. Well, I have, I have one of both, but I do have one where I used to do door-to-door -door sales for a dog charity, and um, so I'd knock on people's doors and try and get them to, you know, support this charity. And there was one day I knocked the door and nobody answered, and there was a huge, huge, big door it had like a big glass panels on the side, and um, I sort of looked in the window just to see if anyone was around, and I saw a dog. And I was like tap on the window, like waving at the dog, and like, hi, hi, puppy. And then at some point I looked up to the side and I saw two people who were completely naked and had stopped moving and were just staring <laughs> back at me. <laughs> and I didn't, just, uh, didn't know what to do, so I just backed away very slowly and just made sure I didn't go back to that door. But I'm sure I could have got them signed up to quite a good... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you back? back did you back, back away? Man. Did you back? Did you back away whilst keeping eye contact as well? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say to do with bears. Yeah. So I just kept that yeah. in mind. <laughs> That's their dominance. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just got. Uh, I don't know why. I just got an image of the the gay slang for bear when you said that. Um, not not actually yeah, yeah, grizzlies. Yeah. Well, he yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. big <laughs> big hairy man. Big hairy man. Yeah. Nice. Well, I I'm just got a vision of the the dog being there though. Like... Well, that's the thing because it was like a really the dog was so calm, 
and it was just kind of like it started when it saw me it started wagging its tail and I was like oh how lovely and it was just it shocked me so much to be like again why is a dog there yeah <laughs> I they did that's I've just had a flashback and I, I think I'd buried this memory since 2006 when it happened I was I was um in Ibiza I'd uh I'd, I'd gotten lucky um with this uh, uh, woman that was um, there, gotten back to her place, and only halfway through proceedings, mid, mid, midway, getting down to it, I noticed in the corner, that's where she parked her kids, still in the pushchair. Sort of like... Oh, no! <laughs> kid, the kid was asleep, and she sort of <laughs> wheeled him into the corner so he could just see the corner. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake... It's, Again, a mood ruiner. When when you're halfway through, you, you don't really need to see a sleeping toddler. Um, Dimply a witch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just 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 a little bit. I I'm I, I've got to really now plug the hell out of the podcast because people need to hear all of this. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Uh, for, for for many reasons, this this needs a wide audience, um, <laughs> as as I had an audience of a toddler. Um, <laughs> right. As I think, uh, I think some, um, I think we've we've gone right to the bottom of the barrel with that question. Well done, everybody, for for turning such an innocent question so filthy. I feel proud. <laughs> <laughs> of all of us, Jimmy included. And it's the bonus question, uh, just for the podcast listeners who I've been neglecting through sheer levels of incompetence uh, this week. So apologies for that. So this this will be the, the second episode you get in a week. How good is that? Uh, so everyone is back here. We are just visually, we're just visual only. Uh, no, we're, not, we're audio only. It's late and my brain's not working. Um, it hasn't been working all day, and, and now I'm, I'm beyond the pale. And we, we've just had an hour of being stalked, the five of us. So <laughs> we're, we're all a little worse for wear now. So we're, we're audio only. They can't see what we're doing. Um, so, so that is fine. Uh, just to set the scene, though, everyone is, is back for the bonus question. And the sun has set where Ian is. And we can see him perfectly now. He's beautifully lit, uh, which is nice. Uh, well done for keeping the the Disney ears on all night. That's that's an, an amazing. They're quite, they're quite comfy, actually. Keep, keep keep my headphones on as well. Are they headphones? Oh, no, I've, no they, I've got um, bone conduction headphones, so they sort of hang off the back. Oh right, I see, I see. I don't know if anyone else has seen um, the, the this summer's hot gadget. I thought somebody was wearing them was wearing headphones the other week but it's not it's a neck fan have you seen mm. these oh, oh, yeah, they're yeah. not they're, new they're, not new, they're new to me they're, they're, they're they existed new to in me. like the 80s alex that's like even before your era come on <laughs> <laughs> do you know what is the new fad thing it's going to be next year what's that the beach with porridge spurtle <laughs> <laughs> it's uh if you have if you have just only listened to the podcast you, you, I, I severely <laughs> ask you implore you uh, to go and watch the video because uh, uh, since we all went to look at, and, and discover something from our kitchen that could be used as a dildo that was just that was just that was just beautiful that could be like an uh, ocado dildo delivery it's got that sort of vibe to it <laughs> anyway yeah question that's why we're here, isn't it yeah question uh bonus question which is what song do you know all the words to, even though you've never tried to memorise it or them? And as we are all just on the podcast, nobody can point out any typos that I've made. So we can try. For me, it's it, the majority is Ebenezer Good by The Shaman, which Alexa always tries to correct me when I ask her to play the song and says, playing Ebenezer Good by The Shaman. So, all right, snotty cow. <laughs> um, so let's see if I can get as far as about halfway through. There's a guy in her place, got a bit of sweet face, and he goes by the name of Ebenezer Good. His friends call him Ezer, and he is the main geezer, and he buys like the place that like the other man should. He's refined, as to, but yeah, that's why it goes messy. So, no is the answer from me. Uh, anyone else? Black uh, Mummy, like, 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 Shit, you all went at once then. Uh, <laughs> Pete, Pete, go on. Uh, Black Mountain Side by Led Zeppelin. Go on then, go for it. It's an instrumental. 
<laughs> stitched up uh, royally. Stitched up. Ben, you look like you um, um, I th- I th- Well, I know it well. I don't know if I know it perfect, but uh, this is how it feels buying spiral carpets. Um, ah. Yeah, it starts off like with the keyboard, obviously, then it goes, uh, husband don't know what he's done. Kids don't know what's wrong with mum. She can't say, they can't see. Putting it down to another bad day. Dun, 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 dun. And I just, yeah. yeah. So you sounded like, like the Carter <laughs> version as well. Yeah, yeah, thanks. And how, <laughs> and how creaky is your chair? Well, yeah, the chair likes the song as well. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were just sitting next to Axel Rose. Yeah, this could, is how it feels you... to be squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> Could you could you just rock like a metronome for a second, just so we can get there? <laughs> Another out of context clip that's so going in next week. <laughs> yeah, I think my neighbour thinks I've started having sex again. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's lasted longer than before. <laughs> yeah, but he's still on he's, his own. He's he's got to the first verse. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Like that would be a great song to have on during the sex. <laughs> no, if we'd be oh, it's Spiral Carpets would be horrendous to listen to while you're on the job. Um, <laughs> Ian, uh, same same question to you, and also, what would be a good song to listen to whilst you're on the job? <laughs> I don't know about whilst on the job, but the song I always used to sing, "Walking Up the Hill Drunk," was "Amish Paradise" by Weird Al Yankovic. Do Do you still know the words? Uh, yeah, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Ian will squeak in time. I have is my grain. I took a look at my wife and realized she's very plain, but that's just perfect for an amulet like me. You know I shouldn't fancy things like electricity. After 30 in the morning, I'm milking cows. Never die a piece of chicken to Jacob Plow's fool, but I've been milking and plowing so long that even a sick thinks that my mind is gone. I'm a man of the land, I'm into discipline. Got a Bible in my hand and a bit on my chin. But if I finish it on my jaws and you didn't finish fine, then tonight we're going to party like a 1699. We've been spending most of our lives in an Amish parish. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I'm actually it... going to be disappointed when I watch Elton John at Glastonbury and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, if, you, if, you're not if you're not seeing this, uh, you, you missed Kitty miming along to Ian singing that, uh, uh, which was. It's another was... one I know all the words to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so uh, as, apart from Amish Paradise, what song do you know? all the words to, and what would be a good song to have, or a bad song to have whilst you're on the job? Are you saying on the job? Yes, <laughs> I'm talking an oldie wordy sort of uh, euphemism for having sex. Right. But, uh, ironically, that makes everybody so it's a sex except work you. Thing. Yeah. It's a sex down, work down, thing. Down, 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 the burning ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, go on. Who is this addressed to? You. Me, I, yeah, um, context is everything. I know that now. Yeah. Uh, well, see, I, I, I have the superpower of pretty much any song I hear once or twice. I retain ninety percent of the lyrics. Um, so, like, it's why, like, if I have to revise for an exam, it's always been the thing of like, I'll have to write a little song, and then it will stay in there forever. But also, I was raised in the church, so I went to Bible camps, and I went to like all the things. So, like, I can quote a fuck of a lot of scripture by heart because it's in my head through song. Um, so I would have to say like pretty much like religious anthems and all the rest are in a props for going to pound town. And also <laughs> your head. Um, <laughs> what's that? The horny bitch has church drama? No way. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in terms of like songs, I accidentally learned lyrics to, I would say like most of them, but like, the kind of hybrid between that being that I listen to a lot of musical theatre because I'm a theatre kid and like a lot of the time I kind of like assume I know all the words and then I'll be like yeah let's do it as a karaoke track I don't need to get the words up and then suddenly I realise how much I don't know like I will do a long drive and I'll put on like the Hamilton soundtrack and if they're singing I can do like a hundred percent of the words and then suddenly it'll be the karaoke version and it'll be like something like not one of the big ones like oh this i can do like satisfied or like alexander hamilton but the moment it's like um uh the right hand man that one has like 16 verses and i'm like fuck 
I don't know where the fuck I am. I think I'm meant to be rapping as George Washington now, and I'm I'm sad that I can't properly. That's uh, the image of uh, rapping George Washington is 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 <laughs> well. In the, in, the, in, the, in the beauty of driving to Hamilton, well, Lewis Hamilton oh. will be driving to music. It's, it's poetry. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, pick, I pick out a musical theatre show that is the right length of time for the drive. So if it's like half an hour, 40 minutes, then that's the sixth soundtrack. And if it's going to be like a couple of hours, that's Hamilton. And if it's going to be like three or more hours, then it's the entire Crazy Ex Girlfriend soundtrack and see how many seasons I get through. Like, it's just nice. the vibes. Nice. The, the only musical that sort of registered in my brain was the, the score to The Book of Mormon. Hello. My yeah. name is Elder Price. And I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Yes, that's another one I can do all the way through. So, Danger Zone. I, <laughs> what about I, Joseph? Joseph and the Technical Dream Co. Anyway, that one's even better anyway. because there's no spoken dialogue. So, you can sing the entire thing through, start to finish, just from the whole Some Folks Dream that's, of the Wonders. They'll do all the time, all the way through. Every my, genre. That's, been, that's been sung in a dream cover too many times. While Any, job. Anywhere dream Did you will go to do. my school? <laughs> <laughs> I got locked in the bag cupboard so many times. <laughs> what? Is that where the time was? Was that? Wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, uh, was that uh, like a prank from other kids, or was that a punishment that was still that? That by was teachers? bullying. <laughs> that was. Bullying. That was shut up. Get in the cupboard. Miss lunch because you're sat there, and then you're like, well, if no one's gonna let me out, I'll like sing through a musical. Why did they bully me? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> the, well, I think we've got the name of this edition of the podcast sorted. Uh, <laughs> Why did they bully me? Who knows? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, well, well, there's there's so many. There's there's so many that we can choose from. Uh, so uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's it for the bonus question. Uh, we'll now segue uh, nicely back into the main uh, podcast with one of my sound effects. Uh, so you, you've got a choice of uh, harp transition. Rim shot or Graham Whistler whoop de doo. Go for the harp. I've not heard yeah. it till now. Do harp is quite soothing and put, puts me in the mood for it to be honest. But although never say on the job ever again. <laughs> I've learned something tonight, so yes, I will. I will. <laughs> and I'm not. And Austin Powers used that phrase in Gold Member, so I'm not going to um, watch that film in quite the same way either. So. Uh, I mean, I thought you said on the John, so that's why I went for Ring of Fire. <laughs> But it works it's both still, ways. It still works, Ian. It still works. It still works. Oh, what to do? What to do? Oh, that's pretty good, this. Ah, you made it to the end. Well done, you. Uh, so, thank you for uh, watching our bonus question time tonight. We are officially on our summer break. We started last week, but, you know, to pre-record. It's a bonus episode. You're welcome. Uh, we'll be back in the autumn. Don't forget to join us in uh, Edinburgh. And thank you to all of the acts that have joined me uh, for this uh, eight-week run of Awkward Question Time. This for all of their names will be appearing in an extra specially long credit sequence now. And until the autumn, stay awkward. <laughs>